Hi, Shalom. This week we begin reading the third book of the Torah, Vayikra. And in the first word of Vayikra, where God is calling to Moses, the letter Aleph is unusually small. Now in the Torah, we have three size letters. As you see here, we have the small, the medium, and the large. Most letters in the Torah are the medium. But sometimes we have small, or sometimes we have extra large. Why do we have different size letters? When we have a small or a, or a large, it's because it's sending us a message and telling us a deeper meaning within the word. And we find that by Moses, we use a small aleph, and when we talk about Adam, in Divrei Hayam Chronicles, we use a large aleph. What's the significance? And the Alter Rebbe, the first Chabad Rebbe, Rabbi Shneir Zaman, tells us that Adam was great. Adam was unique amongst all mankind, that he was created and formed by God, not born to physical parents like everyone else. And though Adam was incredibly great, and his wisdom was unparalleled, as the Torah tells us, yet Adam made a grave mistake, and he sinned by eating from the fruit of the tree of knowledge, which altered the course of history until today and forever. Moses, on the other hand, was an Aleph. His life was a difficult one. Being thrown into the Nile River, brought up in a foreign home, though a palace, but foreign home. But more importantly, his characteristics of humility. He was the most humble person that ever lived on the earth, the Torah tells us. What was it about Moses' humility? It was that though he knew what he had achieved, and though he knew that his position was unique, talking to God, being his messenger to found the Jewish people as a nation, take them out of Egypt, give us the Torah, yet it never got to his ego, and he always felt humble and even more humble than anyone else because he said, if someone else would have these gifts, the greatness that I have are the gifts that were given to me, because probably they would have done more and better with these gifts. And this is the tremendous lesson to all of us. That on one hand, like Adam, we have to recognize greatness. We have to recognize our qualities. If we want to live a wholesome life, live a satisfactory life, we must know our qualities and our talents and skills to the utmost and use them fully. But on the other hand, we must also carry with, our, with ourselves a sense of humility. We must remember that our talents, skills are all gifts that God has given to us. They're not our own self-doing. And they don't bring to us entitlement, but on the contrary, they bring to us responsibility. If God gave me the ability to do something, I have to make sure I do it well. And therefore, we feel greatness, we recognize our greatness, we use it fully, but never allow it to get to our ego, but allow it to bring us to feel more humble and try to do our job better like Moses in the responsible way. So I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. Candle lighting in Montreal this week is 7.03. As we're preparing for Passover, I want to remind you all that it's important to sell your chametz. You can go on our website, ChabadTMR.com. We have a sell your chametz form in the Passover area. And anyone in Montreal who needs Shemur Matzah, we have Shemur Matzah for you. Just come by or call us and pick it up. All the best. Love you all.